shock testing is essentially used to simulate either impact, drops, or some sort of explosive force. Uh, the reason shock testing is so important is that shock excites all resonances. We've already talked about how important it is to test at resonant frequencies because you're going to get that increase in um, amplitude. And when you perform shock testing, each component of what you're testing is actually going to quiver at its own natural frequency. You can see here I've included a figure of a half sine pulse, and I pointed out some of the key parameters here. You can see there's the amplitude pointed out there at the top of the curve, which is the acceleration level. And then I've also pointed out the pulse width, which is another key parameter. And that pulse width is essentially just the actual duration of the test itself. So you've already seen one example of a half sine pulse. And uh, as I mentioned, this is the most common pulse shape. On the right there, you can see what that pulse would look like in an actual vibration controller. Um, but there are other pulse shapes as well, other than just half sine, such as sawtooth, rectangular, and trapezoidal. And the trapezoidal shape, um, or I'm sorry, the sawtooth shape is what you can see there at the bottom of the screen. Um, as I mentioned, half sine is the most common, but these days specifications are actually moving more towards sawtooth, and that's because there's a more realistic residual spectrum for sawtooth pulse shapes.